Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. Chris Dennis here, putting specialist and short game performance coach. Today we're back playing out on the golf course and we're doing another risk and reward and we have got the celebrity James Robinson who's currently the cameraman so he's going to come in now because I've called him the cameraman. So we're at Woolley Park today so James has a lot of videos here. Serves your eye, that's not guys. straight. <laughs> cameraman had one job. There we go. There we go. He doesn't edit these. So, so, so big thanks to John and the guys for letting us on out here today. So we've played a few holes. We're out here now on the 12th hole. 11. It's a cracking start. We're out here on the 11th hole. Par 3, 169 yards, stroke index 17. So a lot of the times people get par 3s at home. It's a high index, so they think, well, it's an easy par or it's an One easy... of the easier holes on the course, yeah. Like, yeah. And then when you speak to people, they'll go, oh, I struggle on there all the time. So we're going to play it today. James is going to play the aggressive route. Attacking. Attacking. All out attack. I need to make birdie. James needs to make birdie because it's an easy hole. That's what we're going with. If he thinks it's easy, he's going straight at the flag. The flag is here. It's on the left side of the green. If you do miss to the left side of the green, you're above the green, chipping down, and the green runs away from you. So we're trying to say that, okay, that's the bad place to miss. So hopefully James attacks the flag. There's every chance, because I'm, I'm going to start at the middle of the green, hopefully draw it into the flag, lip out and make two. Now that's my worst case scenario on this hole, really. Correct, well, we'll see. Because if you're, if you're anything like a 16 handicap or below, you don't get a shot here. So it needs to be good, doesn't it? Needs to be good. That's so. This is the kind of pressure I see a lot of amateurs put themselves under. I'm not actually, but I am trying to play a bit of a stooge there for the, just so you know, like I'm not. For the fans. I wouldn't actually play that, but. So James, seven iron? Yeah. So straight at the flag. This actually should be the perfect yardage for me. This is 169, flag's in the middle. My seven iron's 165 club, so the clubbing isn't an issue. Sometimes yeah. if you're in between clubs, you can overcomplicate things even more on holes like this. Yeah. If you're on the club then. Have you got an eight? I've got a seven as well. Seven as well, right. So drawing back nicely. That should be about right, I think. That's a terrible example because it's middle of the green. But for me, my my bad shot would normally turn over, so I'm quite happy with that, really. Yeah, so started a little bit further right than you thought. It did draw, but it drew to the middle of the green as opposed to the flag. But it's a safe shot. I find that the lesser of the two evils, and that's in my head is ingrained not to be short-sided from the work we've done together before. Yeah. Short game can be a strength, but sometimes you don't need to put yourself under the stress of short-siding yourself. No. Because right. I can make birdie from there, albeit I think of what about 20, 15, 20 feet. Yeah. yeah. There's every chance, isn't there? Yeah. So James there, playing a draw, he's used the left side of the tee, which we didn't talk about. That's because James is going to aim to the right-hand side of the green. I'm going to play nice and simple. I'm going to go for the middle of the green. But again, I'm going to use... The left, isn't it? Left and right, good start. I'm gonna use I think right. that's right, Chris, that one. Yeah. Right. I'm going to use the right side of the tee and again go a little bit more direct towards the middle. My shot is normally moves a little bit to the right, so slice. I can start it. Slice, as James might call it. I can start it just left of centre and move it back. This is all over it. Did that hit the flag? Maybe. Finished middle. Yeah. So an example there, what I've done is I've, I've aimed up the left, well, I've aimed for the left center. I've actually pulled that a little bit, but it pulled towards the flag. So by using the correct side of the tee box and knowing the shot shape, you know, even a bad one, something that I might pull has gone towards the flag. If I'd have aimed, and I see this with a lot of people who slice the ball, they aim left side of the green, so they, they aim way left, probably over the edge of the bushes. They hit that straight shot, and then they've got an impossible chip. So from there, if you if you are somebody who slices, if you're somebody here who plays at Woolley, make sure that you're aiming, you know, on the left half of the green. And if you miss to the right, you've got plenty of green to work with. If you go left, pretty much making it a very difficult hole. So your neck must be hurting without pivoting. You've just done that. <laughs> <laughs> I think as well there what we've done is we've played actually two bad shots yep. but within reason the lesser of the two evil shots correct yeah so they're both in the end giving us a result where we've got a chance so it's going to come down to the putt like it did do on the first episode and the second episode so so far we've made two birdies two pars 
We've got two birdie pulls. Two bogeys. <laughs> hey, Bert. Right, so... Did you see where yours pitched? I Ooh. think you probably did it the flag, you know. Pitch there. Do you want to do the honours? Oh, what a, what a gentleman. Give it a rest, Phil. Right, so James, I'd say probably, what, 15, 20 feet max? And yeah. I'd say I'd be pretty much the same. The hill, so quite comfortable with it, really, as well. So again, two, an uphill putt there, James. So James started a little bit right, drew back to the middle, and he's given himself a good chance. And I'd rather be there than there. Correct, so he'd rather be under the hole here. We're an uphill putt, a little bit right to left, as opposed to putting down the hill, a little bit slippery, going to be tentative, and maybe not give it a go. Well, this is some good panning around here. Like, you'll be busy. I know. Like, unless I smash this through the break and leave it three foot long, I can go for it and not be worried about three footers. Yes, you can be positive up the hill, give it a go. Very disappointing to be honest. I've had never liked going in, did it? The boys don't care, there's no celebrations. But good putt. Get it. Unbelievable. Need me bread and butter. Thoughts on that one. It was a good putt, but you play the percentages. Play the shot. I was firm with it as well, weren't I? Positive up the hill. Yeah. Not negative. Oh, you might you might take a lead in this series as well. I like it. Tell you what, half a set, half a knee, I'm a changed man. Right then, we best. I mean, it's a regulation three you're walking off with, isn't it? Yeah, so stroking deck 17 there, guys. You know, we've we've gave ourselves, James has made a nice solid birdie. He played the shot, he knows his shape. He's been able to draw that in and give himself an uphill putt. I've managed to hit a good bad one. I pulled my shot slightly, but still left myself a good putt. I had a little bit more swing on the putt than I wanted, but it's an easy par. So there's two different ways to play this. James went for the aggressive, but it ended up safe but we want to make sure that we're not going near the trouble. So if there is a pin on the left-hand side and we know the left side of the green is high, play for the middle, play for the right. You're better off chipping from the right-hand side of the green or hitting a longer putt than you are being where the buggy is. You're gutter that I didn't end up up there, aren't you? I am quite devastated, to be honest. What did I make? Can you remember? You made a two. So, so far on the series, we're showing you, you've played the aggressive way and made a birdie. On the first round, I made a birdie from the aggressive play. Yeah, so actually... So there's different ways to play it, but you have to be able to be realising where the trouble is. Avoiding the trouble, making the hole as easy as possible. So guys, a little bit different there. A par three this week. Well, next week, we're going to be looking at a par five. Actually, next week, it's going to be a chipping challenge against me and James. Oh. And then after that, we'll be looking at par five strategy. Can you go for it in two? If not, where's best to lay up? And thinking about where the flag is on the green as you play in the hole. So guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that. And we'll see you again later in the week.